guys, it's another video from Share My Story. Alright, what are we watching? My rich parents lost all their money. Alright, I'm gonna try to put more energy into this video. You hear? You hear? Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Hey, my name is Alice, up, and Alice? I grew up in a very wealthy family. My parents gave me an allowance of fifty thousand dollars per month. Alright, um to me. See what I said? So, you know, I, 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 my bad, my bad. Alright, let, let me rephrase that. 50 grand a month? Even though I was only nine years old, I used the money to buy hundreds of designer clothes without ever wearing them. I also That's had a private course. chauffeur who often drove me to our private horse ranch. One time, while riding a horse, I lost a diamond necklace my dad had given to me as a birthday gift. Alright, so based on her spending habits, no wonder the rich parents lost all their money. I forgot her name. Was it Alyssa or something? Whatever. I forgot her name. I'm, she spends 50 grand a month. She spends it all. Doesn't even, doesn't even use any of it. Like, she spends money on stuff that she does not need at all. Like, like I mean... If I have money, I've obviously might buy some nice clothes, but I don't overdo it because I could I I don't I'm not really a guy like like oh yeah like oh yeah I have clothes I have nice clothes I'm dripped out but I'm not a big flexer all right so I don't like to flex sometimes but maybe I might post a pic on on the IG all right just like oh yeah check out the drip you guys look at me I look nice today like, I got me I got my do rag on I got my uh got my Nike shirt on like cool cool no one cares. It was worth half a million dollars, but when I noticed it was gone, I was too lazy to go back to the horse ranch and search for it. And the next day, I had already forgotten about it. It was a careless life and I didn't appreciate any of it, not even our maids. I'm embarrassed to admit this, but sometimes I was too lazy to flush the toilet myself, so my maids had to do it for me. But one day, everything changed. I was 11 when my parents got prosecuted for doing a Ponzi scheme. I can't explain what that is, but they basically stole other people's money, which is why both of them went to prison serving a 30 year and 15 year sentence. They also had to give back all the money they had stolen, which meant I didn't just lose my parents, but also the luxuries I grew up with. The government brought me into an orphanage where I had to share a room with two older girls. They were very mean and stole my laptop and clothes so they could sell them for money. I had nothing left and my supervisor gave me some old rags that had holes all over them. I hated that living sucks. in an orphanage. Me Here's an old saying, karma's a bee. Man, you must treat your maids, you didn't flush the toilet, you, you were careless with their money. I mean, I guess this is the parents' fault, but you had something to do with it. Like. You got what you deserve. Call, like, get sniper on this. People who got what they deserve, alright? Come on. Sniper wolf. Watch this video and hop on this. Watch some more stories. Many of the other kids had been abused growing up and now they enjoyed making my life hell. But yep. still, no one had it harder than Maria. After my supervisor told me what her parents had done to her, I had nightmares for days. I didn't know humans could be so evil. Unfortunately, her brain never had the chance to fully develop, and most of the time, she was just staring at the walls. When I went over to her and asked her how her day was, she only said, good, and I could tell she didn't trust me. But I kept on spending time with her and slowly, we became friends. One time, I tried to give her a hug, but she got so frightened that she pushed me away. I guess she was scared of physical contact because she was beaten as a kid. When I asked her if her parents had ever given her a hug, she said no. I felt so bad for her. And then I learned that Maria would be kicked out of the orphanage at age 18. I couldn't believe it. Maria wasn't smart enough to work a normal job. Right, that's mean, bro. That's a little harsh. Come on. Come on, man. That's your, that's your friend. I hype up a little bit. Be, the, be her good wee man. But, oh yeah, but she went to a... Uh, a university she went to harvard oh she got 
she was the top of her class. I was kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, don't hype up that much. Sheesh. Like, I have a little faith in her. She can do it. I believe in her. I believe in her. I know she can make it. Come on. Which meant that she would end up homeless. I was petrified thinking about what people on the streets would do to a helpless girl like her. I knew I had to find a solution. And then, I remembered the necklace I had lost on my parents' horse ranch as a kid. Maybe it was still there. I decided to rent a metal detector to go search for it. When I arrived, the whole horse ranch was completely abandoned. But luckily, it only took me about two hours to find my old diamond necklace. I was so happy I had tears in my eyes. Because if I sold this necklace, I'd have enough money to make sure Maria wouldn't be homeless. But then I made a big mistake. I went to a jeweler to sell the necklace, but he thought I had stolen it from someone and called the cops. They immediately confiscated it and said my parents had bought it with stolen money, so I couldn't get it back. Wow, I was devastated and couldn't believe I'd been stupid enough to simply try and sell a $500,000 necklace. But in the end, there- this is, I hate snitches, bro, but hey, he did the right thing, though. But so, if it ain't your issue, stay out of it. It has nothing to do with you. Stop. Alright, you know? There is always a way. And two months before Maria turned 18, I dropped out of high school and got a job as a salesperson. It allowed me to make enough money to rent a small room where Maria and I can both live in. And the cool thing about being a salesperson is that no one cares if you graduated from college or not, and there are so many career opportunities. I can't put That's into it. words how much I love Maria. She is the reason I get out of bed in the morning and try to do my best. Hmm. I think it's time to whip out the song Girls Want Girls by Drake, because I think this might be the case. That's enough, that's enough. I can't complain. My life is a life worth living. Thank you for listening to my story, and please subscribe to this channel. I won't subscribe, and um, you're welcome for watching. I will not subscribe. I'll keep watching your videos, but I don't know if I'll Wait, am I already subscribed? No chance. Alright, forget what I said, boys. Forget what I said. Forget what I said. Alright, I'm honestly gonna dip. I gotta edit this video quick, see what the time is. It's almost 5 o'clock, and my upload schedule is at 6 p.m., so I'm gonna have to hop out. Peace! I'm being called out like a Santa's away. I know you don't want a guy like me. I know you don't want a psych who looks like me. I got you so mad that I knew you hated me. I did something wrong like I am the enemy. Turn off my notice, I knew you wanted me. Turn off my notice, I knew she begging me. I, I walk in the room, I try to look hot. She looking at me, I wonder what she I want. Walk in the room.